Hi, my name is Dr. Deanna Beasley, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga. And I'm currently leading the Ant Health Watch project on Students Discover. Today I'm going to share with you what we've learned so far with the help of students and teachers such as yourselves, and the next steps we're taking to understand more about ants in their environment. I hope you enjoy this short story I'm about to share with you. This is Benoit. Benoit doesn't fit into this frame because Benoit is very tall. Benoit likes to collect ants. When Benoit was a grad student at North Carolina State University, he found the Asian needle ant. North Carolina is not the home of the Asian needle ant. It came all the way from Japan. We started the School of Ants project where children collect ants in their backyards using cookies as bait. Through time, we learned that the Asian needle ant is in more and more parts of the Southeast which we thought was the end of the story until a little boy finds the Asian needle ant in Wisconsin. It's not actually that big. And then another little boy, hey Isaac, finds it in Washington State. So two kids extended the range of the Asian needle ant by 4,000 miles and helped scientists have a better understanding of the real distribution of this invasive species. Now we have new ant projects that you and your students can be involved in. For the first project, Invisible Pathogens, we want to learn more about how ants stay healthy. Ants seem to get sick less than humans, and we want to find out why. So we will collect ants and find out what pathogens live on them. Once we figure out who these ant pathogens are and where they live, it will help us think about how ants stay healthy under various conditions, which could help us figure out ways to keep humans healthy. And when we have harmful ants, like fire ants, which crawl up in walls legs, we can figure out how to control them. In our next project, Ant Picnic, we want to learn more about how fast ants from around the world come to food. We know that in some parts of the world, ants get their food faster than others. As our global environment changes, so too will the things that ants do. And this project will help us track these changes over time and help us make predictions about how species will respond to climate change.